What up, Pisces? It's Magic Demon Magician Terry. You can like, share, and subscribe below. Let's do this. It's going to be a general for the rest of February. Today is February 12th. So the second half of February 2022. <clears throat> You're with the D. Let's do it. We're going to use the one double J Swiss. This is for my Pisces homies. I'm Murphy for the school. Alright. Second half of February. Let's go. Okay. Balancing. Trying to balance work and play. You could be in a hurry up and wait situation. So very excited about new prospects, but possibly in a moment where you're also waiting. So you're waiting and acting, waiting and acting. Okay. You could also be trying to balance friends and lovers, you know, parents and your own dreams, your obligations that you have placed on you versus what you want to do. So part of you could be creatively unfulfilled. <clears throat> yeah. You probably got mad or frustrated. And the first half of the month has felt like you're pretty much being squeezed, like your rock soup, you know? I don't know if you ever read that book, but rock soup is about this... <sighs> Man, it's so long ago, I don't know why I'm thinking about rock soup. But basically, these dirt poor homies, a trio, uh, they are looking for food. I'm going to tell you rock soup right now. Um, they're going town to town, and they are hungry, so one of them gets the bread idea. This is literally you right now, rock soup. Gets the bread idea to go up to a townsperson, um, just knock on the door, and... Uh, <sighs> say that they want to make rock soup and he's like you know i have the rock but i don't have any of the other ingredients so you have maybe just a little bit of salt and they go to the next house and he's like hey i'm making a rock soup and i'm really excited um but you see i got this rock and i got a little bit of salt but i don't have um i don't know if you have any onions do you maybe have an onion or onion peel or something like that to spare and they go from house to house until they have this delicious soup and then the whole town two 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 uh digs in so you could be the <laughs> The genius who comes up with rock soup or uh, a pet rock. Like you have, you could be sitting on a gold mine. <clears throat> but with the Ten of Wands here, you're feeling very overwhelmed. The sun in the reverse, you feel like your part of your dream has died, or people don't see your dream, don't believe in your dream, don't feel you. On that level, Four of Cups in the reverse, there could be some soldiers in your camp, and maybe uh, first part of the month, and you're breaking into trying to change that cycle, but you could have had some feeling of um, ingratitude, you know, ingratitude, wanting more restlessness, uh, wanderlust. Okay, there could be a love connection that is on the rocks for you. There could be a fire sign involved. This person could have long hair. This person could have changing hair colors. This person could have a lot of armor. They could be definitely Aries Leo Sag and protect it. they have a lot of walls up okay there's also an Aquarius that you could have had a falling out with if it's not an idea or a dream that you currently really want to resuscitate because it just did not come your way it's like too many cloudy days in a row too many things that did not go your way Pisces so you're feeling kind of eh. okay at near the end of the month you could be worried about a breakup break up or you could be looking at a situation where love is unrequited or not returned but then interestingly enough the last card you have here is the six of swords so moving on to calmer waters moving on from that battle with the survivors whoever that may be you and you know you and your goldfish <clears throat> you know whatever it is you and your dog or you and whoever this person are you pick up the pieces and you move on from a heartbreak whatever that heartbreak is there's some disagreement here emotionally, and then you have an Eight of Cups. So you have an Eight of Cups, and then you have a Two of Cups in the reverse near the end of the month. But like I said, bookended by this beautiful Six of Swords. So let's do a little bit of a clarification. What is this fire sign about? Five of Wands. Somebody that has kept you in competition, or that you have been in competition with, or that you, this person is in competition for you, they feel like, or something like that. And then you have... 
this personal situation. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. You're very much trying to get into your independence and wanting to be stable. So you're maybe not looking at heartbreak the same way maybe as you would have in the past. What is this Eight of Cups? Okay. There could be an Earth sign in your midst that you're very hurt over a disagreement with. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You feel like this person is unemotional, will never have the vulnerability that you're looking for, either in a parent, boss, friend, whatever the case may be, sort of relationship. Yeah, there's just not going to be that connection there with the Two of Cups in the reverse. Why? Six of Wands, though. Okay, maybe not in February, but it's like you got to fight first. You got to be cool to be kind with this person, whatever the situation is. Devil in the reverse, you're going to go against a Capricorn. Whether that Capricorn is somebody, three different ways this way could go. You could That person could be the Capricorn that we're talking over here. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Queen of Pentacles. Uh, this person would be feminine, brown hair, uh, thick legs, little feet, um, <laughs> about her money, about her style. Very even keeled, but also very bossy and just like... I, I want to do this like hand signal. They're just very la, la, la. like they nag. Okay, definitely a naggy earth sign in the mix here. Could be somebody's mother. It could be betrothed to a lover whose mother is a freaking annoying ass Capricorn. So in the end, moving on, you got this. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you're a Capricorn cross watching, get out of people's happiness. If you're not, uh, then. Like I said, there could be another situation. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn person, an Earth sign person of some kind, uh, they have to go through a breakup in order to come back around. And you, you're about to get some damaged goods. If that person, <laughs> if that's that person, you're about to get some damaged goods. But you're going to win them in the end. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, they're going to give you a little bit of your time. Ooh, but you've got the fool in the chariot here. So they're about to believe in life after love. Hold up. All right, hold on. Let's get a little bit more light up on these cards okay this person believes in life after love you have this awesome fool card and chariot card here which wanted to come out together Pisces, or you might believe in life after love no matter what happens at the end of the month you're looking good a little bit of money a little bit of love so it could be an earth sign it could be a fire sign it could be somebody that has a little bit of both in their chart let's get this person's identity okay let's do a little um, for all y'all that like to watch, I know, I bet there's not that many Pisces people that like to watch that stuff. Like, I like my true crime more, like, in your face, bloody, real. And I feel like a lot of people like the procedural, uh, law and order, cop shows, all that kind of stuff. This person might like that. And you're gonna have to, like, that might be all they like. <laughs> and you're very different. Weird. But, or they could be working that. But for you... They would do anything. Like, they would... They want to get in the boat with you with the swords and move on. Oh my god, this freaking fool card. Love it. Ooh, and then we got... Uh, the six ace of wands right here. Look at this. She thinks she attracts her sexy, bro. Look at that. Whoever this person is, male, female, whatever. She thinks my attractor is sexy. That's what that is. <clears throat> this person's parent could be like... Okay, so you and this, like, imagine you're playing MASH and, um, I can't with the rock soup shit. Here we go. Throwbacks all day right now. Play, you're playing MASH and you know how it's like mansion, apartment, um, and then sometimes it's shed, sometimes a street. Pisces, this person's mom was like, okay, you can go ahead and be on the shed on the street with this, with this motherfucker. Or they, or they might drive a tractor, they might drive a skateboard, so you can just go ahead and skate away with them. <laughs> Like, people are derogatory against you right now, Pisces. Okay, my battery's about to die at my 3%, so here we go. We're going to do a self-care card. These messages want to come out in a rush. I mean, but they're clear. Ace of Wands. Whoever's coming at you this month with a passionate offer, you're going to have arms wide open. <laughs> you already know what band and what song that is. Comment below. Old heads. You're about to be... February is with arms wide open for you right now, because somebody... You might be a little grumbly about your work situation. You had this ten of wands. You had these lovely pentacles. You had your nine of pentacles. So 
trying to establish your independence, but maybe that's what's making you so sexy to these individuals. And they're willing, this person, again, could be just lots of aspects of themselves. <clears throat> Count your blessings. A grateful heart attracts more joy, love, and prosperity. Exactly. Blessings on blessings on blessings. Look at that. Pisces, that's you. You might be a blessing in someone's life or somebody might be a blessing in your life. So embrace that person. Reach out and love that person. One more. All right. Alien cards. They have a whole name, but I just call them my alien cards. So Mystic Martian Oracle is the name. I have to get a little clear. T. Emphasis on the T. With what's going to be the outcome at the end of the month. The beautiful Page of Pentacles. Is that Pisces or is that the other person? Who's putting in a little bit of time and effort? Trying to get this Ace of Wands. Kabbalah Tree of Life. Okay, this person could definitely have a little bit of a learning, like a hunger to learn. They could be, they could want like more mysticism and spirituality in their life. You could bring that into their life, but it could be something very new for them. This is the Kabbalah Tree of Life in the reverse. Integration of life lessons, life lessons, emanation. I don't want to say lush. Like they want that with you. <clears throat> you bring more richness into their life. You guys also could garden together. Or you could both be really into gardening. Okay, shadow self, denial, projecting, and shame. Okay, you are going to need to battle that, Pisces, because you cannot love anybody until you love yourself. And that is the lesson of the rock soup. All right. Magic Team Magician Tara. Like, share, and subscribe below. Let me know if anything resonates with you by leaving 